Hey guys, Profe Pablo here, Spanish teacher turned Minecraft engineer, here making a mangrove tree farm. In this farm, all you will need is some bone meal and a propagule to get going. Once you have that, this tree farm will automatically collect propagules, which are inevitably in your trees. They're just kind of hard to find sometimes. They'll fall into this water, which will get pushed to a collection system, which is underneath the farm ensuring that you never run out of propagules and therefore never run out of mango trees. This build comes with an elevator so you can easily get to the top of your trees and harvest your way down. This build also comes with a way to deal with smaller trees, which will make sense in just a minute. Enough chit chat, let's get going. All right, to get this farm going, we need a seven by seven platform. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we need to fill this in. Okay, now on one of the corners, we are going to break off corner. Let's lay down a double chest and then crouch and place a hopper going into that chest. Actually, we need to break this place the chest here and have two hoppers going in. There's a reason we're going to do that. I'll show you in just a second. Now we are going to take a block and place it here. Then we are going to place down one, two, three powered rails. Let's place a lever and light that rail up. Then we are going to do normal rails that snake around just like this. We're going to place a block there and actually we're gonna break these three rails and do powered rails, placing a lever and turning it on. Now let's take a minecart with a hopper, place it down, and it is going to run through all of these rails just like this. And it's going to drop its stuff into this chest, but first it needs to get some stuff. So you could take dirt or grass, either one, crouch, place it on top of one of these rails, and then copy the seven by seven platform so that you have a seven by seven grass platform just like that. Now come over here to this block and build up one, two blocks, and then make an edge all the way around this grass platform. Just like that. Now we need to build back, coming this way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, on the eighth block, place a block like that. Go ahead and do that on each corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, block. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, block. Now you have something that looks like this. We are going to fill in all of it so it creates a square. So we're gonna take this, bring it all the way back. And you're going to build all the way out to the edge where the block is, that one. Do that on all sides so that it creates a square. Okay, you should have something that looks like this. Now we are going to connect these blocks here by running a row all along the edge. Okay, let's take this edge and make it one more block high. You can probably see where I'm going with this. Then over here in each one of the corners, we're going to place one, two, three, one, two, one blocks, just like that. Do that on all four corners. And now what we're going to do is gonna seem weird, but there's a purpose for this, is decide where you want your elevator to be. Cause we're gonna have an elevator that takes us up so we can jump down and chop these trees down from the top. So I'm gonna choose that my elevator's here and I'm simply going to take a different colored block, place it down right here, just like this, right in the middle so you have one, two, three blocks on each side, just like that. So it looks like this. Okay, now that we have this path kind of thing to our elevator, let's actually build our elevator. So I'm gonna place another block here, 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 creating a path. Here I'm gonna place soul sand and kind of build all the way around that, just like that. On this back wall, I'm going to build up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I built all the way up to 25 blocks. Then I need to come in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. That brings me to the edge of my grass. 
And then I need to come in another one, two, three. And now here I'm going to build kind of a square thing. Here, let me back up a little so you can see. And if I jump down here, it should place me right in the middle where I'm going to plant my tree. Okay, so from this square, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 blocks. Okay, now around the soul sand, I need to build up a tube. Right there. A tube there. And actually, I'm gonna, to make it look good, I'm gonna build up these corners as well. And of course, these two walls right here. One, two, and even this wall right here. So I built up all the blocks that go around that soul sand at the bottom. I broke this top block. Then when you come down here, we need to break this block and this block and place a button here and a button here. Now this could be tedious, but you need to have all of these blocks be water sources. An easy way to do that is we'll break our soul sand, place down a normal block, place water at the top of the tube, grab some kelp because that makes everything source blocks, build kelp all the way up to the top, go down, break the kelp, break that block and replace it again with soul sand. Now we have a water elevator that shoots us up to the top. Just like that. Now we're getting really close to being done. Oops, we need a stair here. There we go. We're getting very close to being done. The only problem is that these mangrove trees don't always grow big. Sometimes they grow small. So let me show you. So we're gonna take a propagule, if that's how you say it, and some bone meal. You will need bone meal for this farm. Come in one, two, three, and on the fourth block right here, we're going to place bone meal. And this is one of these smaller mangrove trees. So the problem is that we have this really tall platform for the big mangrove trees, but if you jump down, you're going to take so much fall damage, you might die. So to prevent that from happening, we're going to come up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 blocks, and bring this out this way like this. I'm gonna come all the way to the edge of this platform. So that should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks. And actually this ninth block, I'm going to make a hay bale. Then uh, from this ninth block, I need to find the block up here. That's the ninth block. I'm going to break that and make another tube like this, just like that. So uh, if I, my tree is tall, I'll come all the way over here and jump down. Or if my tree is small, I will come and jump down here, right down on top of the hay bale. And I shouldn't take fall damage. Let me set game mode to survival so I can show you. So yeah, so you just jump down here, land, no fall damage, and now I can break the tree. Okay, let me show you how this thing works. So you jump down and find the center of the tree, which will be right below that block right there. And you carve down, and you're gonna have to kind of carve all the way around, finding all the logs and breaking uh, some of the leaves to make sure that you get all the logs. And the logs should always be in reach of the middle of the tree. So you shouldn't have to move around. And then once you get down here to the bottom, you're gonna be dealing with roots. Roots take a while to break, but you do have to break them all in order for your next tree to grow well. There we go. And then uh, as you can see, I follow this block. I go one, two, three. And on the fourth block, I place down a proper gule, hit it up with bone meal. It, it grows another mangrove tree. You'll see propagules kind of hanging low. Uh, if you don't see any, it's really easy to collect these. You could just throw bone meal on a leaf and then throw bone meal on the propagule and get your next propagule for your next tree. So I'm gonna run through this and do this a couple times just so that you guys can see what's going on. Okay, this seems to be one of the shorter trees, so I'll go in the first hole. Even when you're down here, in my experience, the roots 
have always been in reach of the ground so you don't have to worry about falling down to the ground and not being able to cut down all the roots. Okay, and the reason that we have all of this concrete here is, as you can see, some of your drops will fall over here, even the propagules. Even the propagules will sometimes fall outside of, of the range of the tree. See how far the leaves go? And so when these leaves decompose, sometimes the propagules will fall this way. So I forgot to do this a minute ago, and it's very, very important. And that is that we need to put water all inside this so it pushes everything to the middle. Now, you don't have to worry about the corners. You can put water on those. The drops won't make it that far, but you still need the corners so that this doesn't turn into like infinite water. Good, and now as the tree decomposes, all of its drops will fall into the middle where it will be collected into our collection system. Let's do one more tree. Gosh, this one's tiny. I was really hoping for a big one. I don't even have to go up the elevator for this one. Okay, there we go. I got a taller one that time. Yeah, and now I can use this one, drop right down in the middle, start carving my way down. Okay, I spoke too soon on the roots. This one is definitely bigger than I'm able to reach. And again, as these leaves decompose, they will drop and they'll even drop propagules sometimes. And those will be either tossed into this water and gone down here to this collection system, or they'll drop straight to the collection system. You might wanna light this up down here so that monsters don't spawn. And as you can see down here, we've got stuff collected. Hope you guys enjoyed this mangrove tree farm. And as always, thanks for watching.